present on a Saturday afternoon to be able to sit down and say hi, how are you, and uh, ask you to meet and greet some very talented young Queenslanders who, uh, along with the judges, are going to climb our stairway to the stars. Some uh, very talented people for you to meet and greet this evening. Our very special guest star is Peter Mazel. Hi, Peter. Hello, Gil. <laughs> Peter really needs no introduction, having been many times a judge on previous occasions, as our next judge really needs no introduction, Frank Delfos. Hello, Frank. Hello, Hugh. How are you? Good afternoon, everyone. And the man who certainly never needs an introduction... <laughs> I always give him one, though. Yes. Hello, Paul. Paul Show. Thank you very much. And thank you very much for joining us, as he said. Well, we're all bright and chirpy today, ready for a good show, and I'm sure that we've got one. Russell Stubbings has lined up another great show for us. The rules are the same, 300 uh, points total maximum for each contestant, and Hugh's going to introduce Act One right now. An instrumental group uh, with a lead vocal to set the toes of tapping first up on Stairway to the Stars this afternoon, a group called CAMS, and uh, they've chosen like so many of these young people in this day and age, to sing and play for you one of their own compositions entitled The Question Mark. Act One, Cams. <laughs> Yeah. 
or uh, Act 1 in this week's Stairway to the Stars with a tuneful beginning to our show and I'm going to ask Peter Mazel if he'd like to comment, first of all, on camps. Peter. Yeah, I enjoyed their act very much. Uh, it's nicely dressed, nicely presented. The harmonies, I thought, were exceptionally good and very true. I thoroughly enjoyed the act. Thank you, Thank you very much, Peter. Frank, would you like to talk about camps? Yes, I, I, I really enjoyed them very much, Paul, because it's uh, a style of music you don't hear a lot Nowadays, it's um, what you're playing doesn't seem to be wildly in fashion, but I, I certainly think there's a terrific market for it. I'd just like to ask you, um, do you normally work as a three or a four piece? Three piece. As a three piece, do you? So you can reproduce that sound outside of, outside of a recording studio. Yes. Well, no, I thought it was first class and I liked it. I think it's a great song. I really, it's your own composition, isn't it? Oh, actually, um, Pat from Wits End wrote it. Uh -huh. And we did it. You know, yeah, well, you know, I feel a song like that should take off, but um, who knows? I thoroughly enjoyed it and thought it was great. Thank you. <laughs> what kind of market do you normally play to when, you know, when you're working? Do you play to a young audience or a... Singles market, Paul. Yeah. Super sound. Like The Bachelors, I remind me of the Madsen English singing group, the vocal part of it. And, uh, you know, you're well-dressed and your, your gear is good, the equipment you're using is good. It's a good song and he, the three-part vocal, that's sort of... I think you're very good indeed. I don't know how much you are working. Are you working a lot? Quite a bit. Probably. Yeah, you should be too. Well, I hope that this will only add to the work you get. It was a great start to the show and I thought you were very good indeed. Thank you very much indeed for working with us uh, Cam to the first act in our show, uh, Judges Marks, right now. We have an 80, an 80, and here's Peter with his little buttons. Oh, yes, here, he yeah, yeah. here he comes. Uh, are you right, right. yet? Yeah. Uh, eight. Uh, yes, all oh, right. Thank you. <laughs> You are really good with those buttons. 240, which is a very high mark to start the show. That sets a high standard. Thank you for doing it. Uh, that was Cam to 240, beginning our show. And we're now going to have a short break, and then Hugh will be back to introduce Act Two. <laughs>